Hello my babies, welcome back to Glow Up with Fashe. I am here in 2022, giving you the scoop on how to be a better you in self-care and self-love in 2022 and what you need to do to help better yourself, if that makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. Self-love is loving yourself on a daily basis. And some people think a bubble bath and, you know, some skincare routine is self-love that's a part of self-love and self-care but no that's not the deep rooted part so i'm just going to give you guys tips to continue to love yourself and to grow more in 2022 to become a better version of yourself because we're all growing as people we're all on this journey together so let's spread love peace and positivity and let's get right into this video For your mental health to for self-love in 2022 that i'm feeling and i'm going to give you guys is eliminate the negativity eliminate all negativity from your life whether it's a bad friendship toxic friendship toxic family member whoever it is whomever it is whatever it is eliminate it from your life you do not need things in your life that's going to pull you down, that's going to stress you out, that's going to cause you mental breakdowns or low self-esteem or anything like that. You do not need any of the sort. I will tell you to get rid of the toxic. Get rid of all the toxic people. You don't need it going forward in 2022. You need to provide yourself with love, support, power, and just determination for yourself to keep going and i feel like eliminating the negativity in your life will cause you to do so much more and relieve yourself you would just feel relieved and feel exhilarated get away getting away from these negative people negative create boundaries for yourself and create a boundary for other people do not let people in your life all the way stop telling people your goals in life what you're going to accomplish because you don't know who's rooting for your downfall at the end of the day it could be somebody smiling in your face honey and then saying yeah she's gonna fail she's not gonna do it like me da -da 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 -da. so get rid of the negativity in your life to help you go forward in your future in number two get rid of that superior energy superior energy is nothing but ego and if you have that superior energy thinking that you're better than anybody else or you're better than these type of people or you grew up this way or you're better that's not going to get you nowhere but depression more anxiety and more being miserable throughout your whole life you're not gonna get you're not gonna be genuinely happy no matter what you accomplish no matter what you buy no matter what material items that you have you can own a freaking i don't know town and you still would be miserable and unhappy because you have superior energy and that superior energy is causing your downfall because basically when you think you're better than everybody else you're living for everybody else to just outdo somebody else if that makes sense you're always in competition you always i gotta do this better or oh i gotta do this or i gotta make a big thing out of this so people can see me 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 and inside really these people that always say well, I'm better than them because this is what I do. This is how I grew up. Inside, they're really hurting. They really um, is suffering from traumatic um, things went on in their childhood that they're covering up with this facade. Um, maybe their parents wasn't around for them, or maybe they're you know it's unhealthy relationship within the family or whatever the case may be or friends or this or that or maybe they're lonely i don't know what the case may be but it's always something inside low self-esteem that they're not showing you that they have to put themselves in the limelight and say hey i'm better than you because other than that what's the point of saying that and thinking you're better than somebody else with that type of energy now there's a difference between having that confidence knowing that you got knowing that you are that chick and that girl that can walk into a room and gain the eyes of everyone there's a difference thinking that yes you are beautiful you are confident you are this but you don't have to think you're better than anybody else they can be a million and one confident woman in a room but nobody does not have to think they're better than anybody else because we are all uniquely beautiful and uniquely talented and we're all different. So nobody cannot be better than anybody else because we're different. 
how can you be better than me? And you don't share the same things that I do. You don't have the same qualities that I do and my personality and my sense of humor and, you know, physical features. Everyone is different. Everyone is different. Skin tones, this, that, that. You cannot be better than other. Let's leave that in 2021. It's garbage. Stop thinking you're better than everybody else. And be confident without putting other women and other people down. You can be confident without putting the next person down. And a lot of people don't know this. And a lot of people, that's where the low self-esteem and low confidence come from. Oh, look at her. She wore too much makeup. Oh, look at her. Yeah, but she's not. This is what I do. To you're not happy. You're not happy. If you're doing that, you're not happy. Genuinely, you're not happy. You're just showing everybody that you are insecure. So let's leave that in 2021 and go on with ourselves being the better version of us. So tip number three. Start believing in yourself no matter what, no matter who does not support you. If anybody does not support you, that's their business. Start that business that you wanted. Start lining up your things that you want to put in order, your organization of your life. Start living for you. I say this a million and one times. Start living for yourself. Put yourself first and you give yourself that push because sometimes we don't have people in our life that's going to motivate us going to support us mentally physically whatever the case may be so you have to be your own person you have to keep going no matter what somebody say oh you're not going to become a famous youtuber okay let them say that who cares what they think who cares what other people think stop living for everybody else and start living for you and this is all about self-love and self-care living for yourself believing in yourself forgiving yourself for all the mistakes you've made and all the lessons you have learned throughout your journey i call them lessons and not mistakes this is you have to forgive yourself in order to move on you have to support yourself you have to be your own support system sometimes even if you have a fabulous and wonderful support system you still have to believe in yourself at the end of the day because every million people can believe in you but it doesn't matter if you don't believe in yourself. And let's go to this tip too. Releasing fear. Let's release all that fear that we have built up in us for years. I, for one, am a big part of the fear group that had this, you know, overwhelming fear of public speaking, public performing, public anything. I just started my singing journey and my singing career, so I'm very excited about that. And I will be sharing the journey with you guys too. I'm vlogging everything that I'm doing now, so the vlogs will be up soon. Um, and I'm just starting to record my single. Um, my sister is starting her singing journey as well. So we're going to show you a couple of songs that we have done. And I'm excited about that. And I write all my own music, all my own material. And I basically almost produce it because I give a hand in the little production area. I'll, I'll tell you guys about that too. Um, yeah, so everything is like original, original, original. And um, I'm starting to get into the music field, guys. So performing has been a well i've been performing since i was a child since my grandmother put me in shows since i was like 10 years old and i did a community center show at 12 then 16 um but the fear overcame me even though i was performing when i was a child it still overcame me um i always was you know thinking about if people would judge me or not and now I don't give a damn. And I was in a girls group too. I was in a girls group at 17. <laughs> it was a lot. I'll show you about that. I'm going to have a whole freaking story time on starting my music career and stuff like that. So, but this has shown me a lot to put fear aside. If I really want to do this and I really want to put myself out there as an artist in general, as a songwriter in general, I have to let go of fear. And I did my first performance. And for a long, well, not first, first, because I was performing as a teenager and a child, but first performance as an adult. And I was so nervous, guys. I was so nervous, but I did not let fear overthrow me. I went on that stage and I did what I had to do and I performed my original song and my original music and I freaking killed it because everybody had positive feedback. Even the people that own the place want me back for a continuous gig, paid gig um, for the springtime. So look what fear, look what fear have done all these years because I was fearful 
in performing places in front of people. I was fearful in putting my original music out there and my original songs. And now look, first time performing and I got a continuous paid gig. Come on, come on. <laughs> and I'm in New York, so I'm where it's at. You know, I can get gigs left to right if I really wanted to and I really have to try. But I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I got a continuous paid gig that I start in April, which is a long time from now. I can prepare myself and prepare my list of songs by then but like the fear was gone so once I stepped on that stage I just was like F it let it go do what you gotta do perform your shit know that you the shit and that's it <laughs> and I didn't have to say that by being at it better than anybody else or saying oh you know or comparing my sound or my music because I am my voice is a contralto so my voice is very heavy and very deep but it's not like everybody else's voice it's not the regular singing voice if that makes sense um I'm continuously growing my voice going to singing lessons Beyonce would do singing lessons so that's nothing so you have to continuously grow your voice and continuously going to singing lessons and um, performing classes and things like that just to perfect the craft because I'm a perfectionist at the end of the day but I'm unique so I didn't compare myself to anybody else I didn't let fear control me if that makes sense I didn't freeze up I didn't say oh god People are like, I didn't freeze up. I did the best I had to do and everybody loved it. So my thing to you is don't let fear control you. Don't let fear overwhelm you to the point that it will break you from your dreams. Let you control the fear. Because we're all going to be fearful at the end of the day. Put the fear on the back burner and keep going, basically. And that's my tips for 2022 and loving yourself and becoming a better version of yourself. I know you guys can do it. And I just want to spread positivity this year and let people in on my journey as well as empowering others and inspiring others because I feel like this is what I'm here for is to inspire, inspire other people to pursue their dreams, to pursue every talent they have. Pursue every talent you have. If you're a writer, if you're a singer, if you're an actress, if you're a model, if you want to do this, 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 go for it. Try it. If you fail, you fail. If you don't, you don't. Keep it moving. And if you fail, brush yourself up and try again. That's it. So I'm so glad you guys watched this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe for more inspiring talk with me. So go up with Rache and don't forget to follow my Instagram and check out the links in my bio. Check out my spiritual, inspiring, motivational TikTok. I will put everything down below in the description box and I will see you guys soon. It's 2022. Bitches.